an important quality when you meditate is to be heedful, to realize that even the little wanderings of the mind can have their repercussions. This is why the Buddha's last piece of advice was to practice with heedfulness. Try to go all the way, he said. Bring about completion was the technical term. And that's how you go all the way, is by being really heedful, to see that even the slightest attachment is going to weigh you down. So in the beginning, though, you don't let let go of just everything. You realize there are some things you've got to develop first. So you put in the work to developing your concentration, your mindfulness, your discernment, all the good qualities you're going to need on the path. Don't be in any hurry to let those go, because you want to do a good job of building them. It's like building scaffolding. You're going to put up a building, and eventually you know the scaffolding is going to have to be torn down. But in the meantime, you want it to be safe. You don't want to do a, such a flimsy job that you step on it and it collapses. So an important part of heedfulness is that you know what to hold on to and what to let go. And for the time being, you'll hold on to the path, the practice of generosity, the practice of virtue, the practice of meditation. These are things you hold on to. These are the scaffolding. And you want it to be strong enough to hold you. So whatever time it takes, put in the time. Sometimes we have the feeling that you got to rush through the various steps to get to the good stuff at the end. Well, again, that's like putting up really weak scaffolding. You step on it, and maybe it lasts for a couple of days. Then you step on the wrong board, and you find the whole thing cracks and then falls down. That's not what you want. That gets you worse off than, than you were before. So you put in whatever effort is required. You put in whatever time is required. Don't think about how long you've been practicing or how slow or how fast the results are coming. You have to be confident. What you're doing here is building a safe haven for the mind. And so you want it to be solid. You want it to be in good shape. And however long it takes, doesn't really matter. All that matters is you stick with it and realize that if you're not following this path, you're following some other path. Every path goes someplace, but they don't all lead to the right place, at least not the place that you want. So you have to be very careful as you make your choices. And it starts with something very simple like this. You're sitting here watching your breath, and some other thought comes along about where you want to be next week or next month or next year or whatever. You say, no, not right now. This is not, this is not the time for that. I've got to work on developing good qualities. Cause, cause Part of heedfulness is realizing that maybe next week, next month, next year are not, not going to come, at least not in this body. Or however they're going to come, you don't really know. But you do know that what you're going to need is a lot of mindfulness and a lot of alertness to deal with whatever comes up. So you've got to develop those qualities, and that pulls you back to what you're doing right here, right now. So as long as your thinking pulls you back here, that's fine. When you don't need it to pull you back here, then you put it aside. Just settle in with the breath. Gain some confidence in just being with the breath, that this is a good place to be, an important place to be, the safest place to be right now. And it's an honorable place to be, too. You're working on a happiness that causes no suffering. That's really rare in this world. So don't let the mind wander astray.